Thank you. So we knocked out uh, four yards in this nerd alert that you guys are about to see. And uh, throughout the four yards, I give you guys some pretty cool information. I give you a life hack about butt plugs. So that's important. <laughs> you did put that on there. Oh yeah. Life hack about butt plugs. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hey, it's important. Hell no. Pull slowly, it hurts. <laughs> And uh, I got uh, got some tips and tricks through this with the weed eater. When um, you have a neighbor's yard that golf course is his yard, and you don't golf course your customer's yard, a little a little way to get around that so you look uh, your yard looks just as good without scalping it. And of course, we're gonna have some pretty good edits and some uh, slow motion and some fast motion filming of the weed eating, the edging, and the mowing. So uh, today in this video you're going to see us using the Honda mower, the push mower the whole time. Um, I'd like it better than the Troy build. It is harder work, but I do like it better. And did I show you guys the finished product of number four? I don't think I did. There it is. The dirty windshield of life. Yes. That was pretty deep. Okay. Dirty windshield of life. That was deep. Uh, so yeah, um, this nerd alert is not just going to be real-time mowing, but we got some tips and tricks throughout it as well. So I hope you guys like it. We're finished up now. It's 12:16. Uh, we finished our side hustle for the week, and um, that's it. I will see you guys uh, on the. Well, actually, let's get right into the video. Did you hear that beep? Makes it a little bit more quiet for that one. Over there in YouTube land. They're looking at you right now. How's that make you feel? Um, a little nerve wracking, isn't it? Not really. I mean, right now there's 15,000 people subscribed to my channel. And at any given moment, they can be looking at you right now. But not now, because I gotta edit it. Try to do something with your color, make you a little bit prettier. And then we're gonna put it up on yeah. put it up on the internet tonight. So tonight there's gonna be a lot of lonely men laying in bed eating popcorn. Oh at shut you. up, man. <laughs> you get used to it, man. It's not so bad. So, anyways. Look who's back. He's actually been here pretty much the whole season mowing at my yards for me. Running my side hustle while I've been killing myself driving trucks, but it looks like uh, our weekend work for truck driving might be slowing down now that summer's over. It's, it is fall. Um, so we didn't have to work today. This would be my Saturday to work. I have a deal with my boss. Don't touch me on the days that I have my boys and I'll work for you on the days that I, I don't. So this would normally be my Saturday to work. But times are slow, but not bad slow. But times are slow and that we didn't have to. We got all caught up after the hurricane so I get to go play with my lawnmower today so what I did is I got old boy still coming don't worry I'm not taking anything out of his pocket he's still getting his full pay for doing the work I'm just gonna join him get some exercise I brought the Honda push mower so today we're going to do a nerd alert video just to get back into the swing of things for some of you guys that have been asking for uh, just some real-time mowing vids so we'll do a nerd alert and uh, Put up a nice little music vid. What do we got on the schedule today? Four? Four. Four. So we're gonna knock out four yards today. And uh, probably during the week I'll do a couple more. And that'll be it. So we'll uh, get started right away. This might be the last day I use this camera. There's a chip in it. Damn it. My other camera too. I got a $350 camera. I put a chip in that too. All right, here we go. Another day, another dollar. Make sure you drink water. Spare line. Muy importante. Were you gonna edge first? 
Alright. You edge first so that way you can clean it up with the weed eater before you uh, start blowing off. Is that how you do it? Yep. And that's how I do it. I like to edge first. Then yeah, I can... then we, that way you make sure you get everything. Exacto mundo. You edge the flower beds with the edger blade? Yeah. Exacto mundo. I trained you well, young grasshopper. If I teach you, you will leave me. <laughs> You're hoping. So today we're going to use the Honda HR194 PX model. needs to be washed. We're going to gas it up and go. I already checked the oil and the tires are so worn out I actually have it on its highest settings. But here goes old boy. Two things that just happened that I paused the camera for on one of them was the mower was running like poop 
I had the fuel valve in the off position instead of the on position. Off. On. Off. The other thing is, I'm only going to do minor corrections to old boy. I got him weed eating and edging because he's been doing this for me for a few months. And so I kind of just want to watch him work, witness how he interacts with customers, um, you know, for next season. So I'm just watching him. He doesn't know that. But that's why I have him weed eating and edging. And I'll just show him a little technical things here and there, but I just want to see what he does, how he handles himself, how he's working with my equipment at the truck when I'm not looking. He's in a habit now. So although he'd be on his best behavior right now because I'm here, but if he has bad habits, I'll see him. And so that's what I want to see is if he has any bad habits. And so far, so far so good. He's doing a good job. I'm not into smoking on a customer's property, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, you guys want to see a life hack? Here's a life hack, a mower hack. If you got an old mower and it doesn't have the butt plug for mulching, just go find yourself some really wet, tall shit to cut. Butt plug, <laughs> nature's way.
This is the neighbor's grass right here. This is my customer's grass right here. My customer's grass is cut out about three and a quarter inches. My neighbor's grass here, the neighbor to them, is cut probably at like two and a quarter inches. And there's a pretty significant difference here. What that ends up happening is your customer comes to you and says, did you even cut the grass today? Because it's such a big difference. What they don't realize is this customer's cutting way low and you're cutting high for a healthy, thick, beautiful lawn. In the middle of the lawn, it looks great. As I'll show you when we pan out later, you see the finished product, the yard's gonna look fantastic. But a customer that doesn't know too much about grass is gonna look and see that the neighbor's is golf course and their yard's tall because they're gonna see this separation right here. So when you have that, you need to fix that. Some people will take their mower and lower the right side or the left side wheels and do it. But new mowers nowadays, they can't do that. Their one lever does the whole thing like my Troy Built TB360. One lever adjusts all four wheels at once. The Honda, you can do that. But if you use your weed eater, you could just blend this in. And if you look going all the way up, you can see there's a huge difference. I'm not sure if you could see the huge difference, but I'm going to weed eat it and I'm going to blend it in so my customer's nice, tall, thick grass is going to look the same as the neighbor's golf course grass. And I'm not going to have spent the time golf coursing my customer's yard and scalping it. So this is how you do it. you can't see the difference in height. You see that? But my customer still has nice thick grass. So you gotta look for that sort of stuff. It's like that all over here. This whole area here where the customer golf course is. And some people like that. His is golf course. Some people like that look. My customer's is not. It's taller, softer, thicker grass. So when I pan out and you look, it looks like nice, thick, tall edges. It looks really nice. Then you have the golf course. Edges are smaller. Still looks nice. It just goes by preference. I prefer tall, thick, beautiful edges with a nice, thick yard. That's my preference. But I don't want a customer, like right here, to screw me. And his is golf course, and this is shitty. So we'll fix it. Number three, in the books. That bag's been here for a couple weeks. All them roots, what a pain in the ass. Just got a weed eat. Man, I tell you what though, man, that Honda does a fantastic job. So smooth, heavy, heavy mower, but it creates a very, very, very smooth cut. Whereas the Troy builds light and then it's got that front plastic piece for the front axle and it chops, it chops, chops the grass. This Honda is like perfect, smooth as glass. They sprayed their weeds up there and put that mulch down and I don't know what they did but they killed the neighbor's yard and they killed all this here. I don't do them anymore, had a falling out. They couldn't wait for me when it was raining for weeks and weeks and weeks and they hired somebody else to do it in between. That's it, dude. You do that without calling me up and asking me or just saying, hey, then you're done. You got it. That guy now has your account. 
Oddly enough, the guy came back and tried to get me to do his yard last week. Nope. Lawn number four. 11.45. Heart rate's 83. Look at that resting heart rate. 52, baby. Healthy as a horse. <laughs>